What's up guys, welcome back to Michael's house and in today's video I'm going to talk to you about how to install the switch and outlet insulating sleeves to prevent drafts from entering your home. Here's a thermal scan of a light switch by my front door. I noticed it was letting in quite a bit of cold air and this scan confirms it. The darker colors represent colder temperatures and the lighter colors represent warmer temperatures. It's clear there's a big temperature difference between the insulated section of the wall above and below and the switch. And the main reason for this is because there's no insulation on the electrical box like there is in the other sections of your exterior walls. So by adding these insulating sleeves, we'll be increasing insulation and reducing the pathway of air into your home. Here's another example. This is a wall outlet. And as you can see, it's also letting in a significant amount of cold air. Installing these insulating sleeves is especially helpful for those who live in cold climates, but can be used on any home to improve insulation and overall comfort. These sleeves are typically installed on any switch or outlet on any exterior wall because this wall is, is what's in direct contact with a cold exterior climate. The brand I'm using today is MD from Home Depot, but I've linked another commonly used brand called Frost King, which I've also used in the past and had success with. Since we won't be engaging in, in any actual electrical work, you can leave the power on, but if you're worried, feel free to turn off the breaker to the switch or receptacle you're working on. First, we remove the screws fastening on the plate. You can do this with either a drill or a screwdriver. I would honestly recommend a screwdriver since you have more control, but I was a bit short on time, so I decided to use a drill. Once that's done, it should look something like this. You'll notice there are no insulation in the electrical box, which is why, like I mentioned before, drafts are common in these areas. Next, you'll notice these covers come in two types, one for outlets and the other for switches. All switches and outlets do come in standard sizes, so you don't have to worry about that when purchasing these. Something else to mention, if you do have switches which are the larger rectangular size, you can actually get away with either pack because the way they're shaped and the way they're pre-cut, you can remove the insides to make them fit. For my particular application, I needed to cut one of the covers so that they wouldn't overlap. Leaving them overlap would make it so I couldn't reinstall the faceplate. So when, cover, when cutting the sheets, I recommend cutting little by little so you don't accidentally leave a gap in between them. Once that's done, it should look something like this. After that, you can reinsert the faceplate and reinstall the screws. Next, I'll install a cover on an outlet instead. Given that there's only one outlet here, it was much quicker of an installation. These sleeves come in standard sizes, so I didn't have to cut the sleeve on this one. Installing this insulating sleeve definitely made a night and day difference on this outlet. You can see I'm actually feeling with my fingers the cold air coming into this outlet just before I install that faceplate. A quick tip, if you notice that once you install the faceplate, the plate isn't sitting flush with the wall, you first want to check that you didn't over tighten the faceplate, causing the edges to bow out. If that's not the case, then you may need to slightly back out the receptacle itself. What happens is sometimes people will over tighten these, causing the edges to stick out. So once you've done those tweaks, the faceplate should fit on perfectly. To sum it up, here's a before and after thermal image comparison. Based on the scan, the difference isn't night and day, but you can see some clear improvements on the faceplate, which are showing warmer temperatures. To support this further, I can tell you that I personally don't notice any drafts where I used to before, so I was quite happy with this product. That's it for today's video. As always, if you want to pick up any of these products for yourself, I've linked them in the video description. Thanks for watching. This is Michael's House, signing off. Thanks.